Charger! Phoenix! Huzzah! Huzzah! Shoulder! Arms! Militia to the left wheel, wheeling on me. Vinny is the, the pivot point. He's not going to move. He's just going to pivot. To the front, march. Step, step, take care, halt. Okay, to the front, march. Step, 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 take care, halt. Okay, dress the line. All right. Gentlemen, actually. Uh, gentlemen, prime and load. All right, so we're gonna do a musket demonstration for you. What you see before you is the English shortland pattern uh, and also longland pattern of, of muskets. These are flint knot muskets. That means that the operating system here is a piece of flint in a lock, where you get the word flint lock. And how this works is that this flint is gonna shave off sparks on this, uh, this uh, steel hammer and ignite a little bit of gunpowder right here, which is gonna send a jet fire through what's called a touch hole on the barrel, ignite the powder in the barrel, that's going to send the projectile out. So the first step that we'd have to do, as that you saw the gentleman do, was to slap our cartridge box and take out our paper cartridges. This is where all our ammunition is kept. It's kept in this pouch right here. This one holds about 20 rounds of ammunition, and each round is then secured in these paper tubes. So in order to be a musket man, you have to have two opposing teeth in order to rip that paper cartridge. Then you would then prime the pan with a little bit of powder in that cartridge, and closing that hammer over. That protects it, so then you can cast the musket about and pour the rest of the powder down the barrel like this. At the bottom of this paper cartridge would be the musket ball. It would be a, a lead ball, about an ounce in weight, about a, seven, a 69 or 71 caliber ball. So like a, think of a large marble, a round ball. So it would be in that paper, and the paper and the, the musket ball go down together, and the paper acts as a wine to keep the musket ball down there nice and tight. Because if you accidentally upend in your musket without that paper down there, the ball is just gonna roll down. It's like a big marble, it's gonna roll roll down. You then you will then take out your ramrod and then ram down that musket ball. Because if it's not seated against the powder in this barrel, the pressure generated from fire will explode the barrel in your face like a pipe bomb and ruin your whole day. So then you would have to ram, and then also have to replace your ramrod just like this, because if you stick it in the ground, or you shoot it at the enemy and leave it in the barrel, you won't be able to reload. Very important to replace your ramrod. And see, everyone is back up at the shoulder. That lets me, the commander, know we are all ready to fire. Have a care. Who we please all. The next three commands will be to make, ready, present, and fire. And you'll see that in succession. Militia, make, ready. We bring our muskets up, and then click goes our muskets to the full composition we'll actually talk about in a, in a second. All right. Present. Hear that I'm saying present. I, we are not taking aim. We're just adding our muskets. Elevate, gentlemen, elevate into the air. And finally, fire. Prime and load. Now you see, as we are loading, we are in the half cock position. We don't go off half cock, that's why we have that saying. I can put the entire weight of the musket on this trigger, pull it all day, it's not gonna go off. This is the safety position. So I can safely load the musket, because my musket does not go off half cocked. A good musket man can get off three aim shots in a minute. That was the, the standard. Militia have a care, make, ready. So we bring it up, now to the full cock position, ready to fire. Present, elevate, fire. fire. Prime and load. Quickly, gentlemen, quickly. Make, ready. Freeze it. Elevate. Fire. Fire. Didn't go off. Half cock fire locks. Fire. Hammer saws on. Fire. 
Shut hands. Shoulder parallax. So now we have softened up the enemy with a couple of musket volleys. Now we are going to clear the field with a bayonet charge. Okay. Militia, have a care. Fix your bayonets. Keep it on your left side, gentlemen. Touch that, that lug when you're done. Shoulder, arms. Have a care. Charge your bayonets. Huzzah! Yeah. To the front at the slow step. March. Step. 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 Have a care. Halt. Recover. Bring your musket up. Shoulder, arms. To the right about face. So as you saw, look how slow we were going. That's why we want to start the bayonet charge. Because if we all start running across the field, I might run faster than him, or he might run faster than me, and then we'll all get there at different points. We all want to get there as one line of cold steel bayonets. So once we close into the, the enemy, then we will charge and use momentum to then to get them. But across the field, we are marching at cadence at a slow step. Also, this scares the enemy off the battlefield. When they see those glistening bayonets in the hot summer sun, they are going to be quitting the, quitting the field or being skewered by it. Now I'm going to ask all of you to please stand over there in the shade so you can get the full view of a bayonet charge. Bayonets! <laughs> To the front! March! Step! 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 Take care! Halt! Shoulder your furlocks! Unfix your bayonets! Keep on your left side, gentlemen. Unfix! Shoulder parallax. All right, does anyone have any questions? <laughs>